right then, I've emerged and it's just how I remember it. Except there's fresh barbed wire there. I mean, you could, in theory, go across there and nip over that. But it looks a bit uh, high. But I remember this bit, this quagmire. I remember walking up here. But we'll have to go to the next, where there's a gate. Let's hope we're not going to get in thick mud. Um, anyway, just a reminder, I don't know what video, if this is 6, 7, 8, I don't know. But basically, there's the area of outstanding natural beauty. I can't just get through, and there's a track there, see? I can't get there. Because there's four... <coughs> Well, I could. I mean, I can. I know how to get over barbed wire, but I'm going to wait for the gate. I don't mind. I don't mind waiting. This could be it here. I see a green pole. It's not the usual gate. But I've got a feeling there's a parallel track that I usually take. Not that one I've just come up. That's like a, that was like um, a side slip. Yeah, here's the gate. This track here, that um, there's another one even further down that I normally take. Um, and, and this can be quite boggy round here, by the way. It can be quite boggy. Uh, so I'm not quite sure where I'll be going because I can't see. I got a feeling that this way down here is one of the routes I know if I was going to come, I would go down that way. Now I've got to try and work out where I'm going over there. I feel that I've got to go that way. I have been here before, but I don't know, like I said, I don't normally use this because my memory of this place is a quagmire. Is a quagmire. And there's, there's a track over there. I'm going to head over there. Yeah, they've taken all the poles down and everything, look, as well. The directions. So here we, are, here we are, folks. The area of outstanding natural beauty. And there could be big herd up here. I don't know if they have them out in the winter or... But it looks like I'm going to head that way for now. Obviously, I don't want to end up having to walk right across the area of outstanding natural beauty. That is not the plan. The plan is to go down to Tynings Farm. So I don't need to go up in that corner. I think I'll go straight across. That's what my instinct tells me to do. Go straight across here and you'll link up with the other big track. When you come out further down, you go across and then up. You're just a bit higher up here, that's all. Right, I'm gonna take some pictures of the various plants over and out. Short videos linked together. Right then. I can hear the, um, you know, those scramble cars, whatever you call them, that um, operate around uh, Cheddar Way. Um, have they got a name? I can't remember it now at the moment. Could have been on uh, standby again. This is where you can get lost. Right, after a very small diversion, I would have bumped into a bloke on the bike in the end anyway. Um, I did get slightly lost just for about five minutes and realised I was heading back towards the wood. So right now but my left right foot has got wet because I got I had to go for quite a bog at the time Yeah, somebody would have come along in the end to rescue me. It's a bit just a moment of worry then because I got lost the other week and uh, 
You could easily get lost here, which if you got stuck in the middle of a bog here, it could be dodgy as well, where no walkers or bikers go. What's that there? Oh, there's a vent. A vent in there has been opened up. Yeah, unfortunately I walked into a bog when I made the error and my right foot is now starting to get wet because of it. The left one where I've got the injured toe is okay. It hasn't got happened. It's a drier foot anyway. So here's a bunker, World War II bunker. Yeah, I was heading back towards the wood. I, more, more, I would have ended up in a circle, because what happened, I'd gone on, there were two tracks. They were both aiming for the same place. But one was, um... <sighs> boggier than the other. I mean, the one good thing about up here, say you did get lost in the mist, there are a lot of bikers about. So that's one good thing. It's easily done. Yes, yeah, very easily done. I wouldn't have been lost for long, even if I'd carried on. But I didn't really want to go back into the warren, you see. That's not part of the plan. So, discovering Blackdown. This is Blackdown. And we're now going down the very bumpy horse track, bridle path. It's okay now. It's not absolutely drenched the foot, but it's let a little bit in. Just aware of it, that's all. We've still got wet fields to go through, so I'll you know, it's going to happen. We're now going down towards Tining Stables. And I'm not very impressed with the weather. It's the first time it's got it wrong. Mind you, it was for Western Supermare, but that usually covers this area. And then when I looked on the weather forecast on telly this morning, it did say there was going to be cloud and fog. So... But uh, I've already planned to do this today. And I shouldn't get lost now because I know the fields really well now. But, but back there, in the boggy areas, I had to do slight diversions here and there. We're okay now. I'll just see what the time is. It's so different here, you know, where I'm standing now, in the summer, on a lovely day, or even in the winter, there's a valley there, it looks right out to the Bristol Channel, you've got bring down steep home, all the hills and the valleys, and it's really, really beautiful. So here it is in the mist, everyone. This is it in the mist. Right, you know, I looked at my clock then. I didn't take it in what the time was. It's ten to two. Right, plan to get the four o'clock bus. Not the three o'clock, the four o'clock. To get the three o'clock, I'd have to really speed up now because in half an hour I'd have to be at the top of the gorge to go down. You've got to allow yourself 20 minutes to half an hour to get down it. So, I'm not doing that. You could always wander around Cheddar if you've got time to kill. So I'm going for the four o'clock so that I do not have to rush. And there'll still be two more buses after that if I did miss one. And these terrible trousers will come off once I hit the village. <sighs> They're absolutely filthy. I have got a carrier bag they can go in. 
my toe is starting to play up a little bit. So I'm glad I've done this walk. I don't know if it's done does damage or what. But um, if it doesn't get better, I'll either have to go to the hospital. I, I don't know if I need a tetanus. I don't know when I had the last one. Uh, or I'll have to go to the doctors tomorrow. Because <sighs> like I said, that, that nail went right in my toe. And it was actually, I had to really tug to pull it out. So it probably tore a bit of flesh on the way out, see? <sighs> but it is um, aching a little bit. But it'll be all right. I've managed to get this walk done. And it's been enjoyable. Like I said, it is a bit creepy in the mist. And because of the route I did today, I haven't done for a long time. I haven't actually done that route for a while. It was not totally familiar to me. It could be sort of eight years since I've done it. Somebody coming, so I'm going to turn off now. Over and out.